Viruses and malware used to attack only desktops, but now it's very prevalent online too. Surfing the web nowadays requires plenty of caution, as you never know if the next website you are visiting contains a virus. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to use Chrome's secret antivirus scanner. Google Chrome offers a built-in antivirus scanner that comes with the browser itself that you can use to scan your device for programs that might be harmful. Keep in mind this is not a general purpose scanner but focuses specifically on threats that target Chrome. Running Chrome's antivirus scanner. Open Chrome on your device. At the top right corner of the browser you will see three dots next to your profile image. Click on the three dots. A pop-up window will appear beneath the dot. Scroll down through the list and when you see the settings option near the bottom, select it. You'll be taken to a new page that carries a list of options relating to the manner in which your Chrome browser operates. Here you'll find a variety of customization options from changing the layout of the browser to the various permission settings that decide which online programs can access your device. At the bottom left corner of the page there is a section titled Advanced. Selecting this option will reveal a drop-down menu. At the bottom of the drop down menu is the option Reset and Clean Up. Click on this option and you'll be directed to the Clean Up options, which include Clean Up Computer. Tap on this option and a new page will open with a Find button highlighted in blue. Clicking on Find will start the Chrome scanner, which will scan your device for the presence of malware. You can also opt in or out of sending details to Google HQ about any malware that was unearthed during the cleanup. Once the program starts running, it will scan not only for viruses, but also for any other undesirable apps that you may not even have realized was active on your device. Google goes into detail about what kind of software it classifies as undesirable on the page linked in the description. Once the scanner has completed its task, you'll be shown a report about any malware that was found on your device. You will then be presented with the option to remove the unwanted software or place it in quarantine until you decide what to do with it. Once the operation is finished, you may be asked to reboot your computer. Privacy issues. Google has come under some criticism for its scanner, with critics pointing out that scanning a user's personal files on their device can be seen as an invasion of privacy. The head of Google Chrome's security, Justin Shu, has clarified that the tool runs in accordance with normal scanning privileges that the user has already granted to the browser. It cannot go in too deep into a device to carry out its scan and it needs your explicit permission before it removes a potentially dangerous file. Chrome's free scanner cannot take the place of a complete antivirus software package since it is only an on-demand scanner and does not provide real-time protection. However, it can be a useful addition to your arsenal of tools to combat hackers and malware threats. The issues of privacy should be kept in mind though while using the scanner. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.